Remember, the best prayer is that prayer that is read at the beginning time of that particular prayer. So, if a person was to delay the prayer, what will happen is, there will come a time when shaitan tells you, you know what, there's still 10 minutes remaining. And I'm sure it's happened to all of us, it has happened to me too. There are a few minutes remaining, don't worry, I'm fulfilling it just now. That just now delays you to the degree that there is a minute left and sometimes it's gone, astaghfirullah, and you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I have no excuse, what just happened? It was actually the shaitan who made you say, just now, I'm fulfilling it just now. That just now actually came straight from shaitan. You heard the adhan, fulfill your salah. You know, nowadays we have applications on our phones that call out the adhan or the first few words of the adhan. Those applications, every Muslim loves to install them. Just like we love to install the Quran. I'm sure a lot of us, if not almost all of us, would be having one application of the Quran in your phone or one of these Islamic applications. The dangerous part is, as sweet as it sounds, it is going to bear witness against you when you haven't taken heed. That's the dangerous part. Your phone called, subhanallah. There was an adhan that you could hear. You, you, you switched it off or you heard the first part of it. And that's how the setting sometimes is. But you did not fulfill the salah. In that case, why did you insult Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by installing something you were never going to listen to? Never. Is it just an alarm to remind you what time of the day it is? No. It is supposed to be something that boosts you to be able to fulfill your obligation unto Allah. We watch people passing away. Nowadays with technology, we've seen it happen a lot. People pass away in the condition of salah, while they're in sujood, or just in the masjid, before the salah, after the salah. There have been many video clips of people from the CCTV of various masajid that we've seen lately. What are the chances of you and I going in such a beautiful condition? Well, if you want to increase the chances, you need to fulfill salah. What's the point of saying, I'd like to die in sujood? But you don't fulfill sujood. You don't read the salah. Then how are you going to die in sujood? So we ask Allah to make it easy for us. Do not delay the salah. As soon as the time sets in, try your best to make haste or at least start doing things that will be leading towards the salah. Like you start finding a place to make wudu, you find a good place to read your salah and thereafter you fulfill it and then you are set. And this is why one of the seven of the categories of people who shall be granted a special shade on the Day of Judgment is a person whose heart is hanging or stuck in the masjid. A masjid refers to a place of worship or the place of sujood. It's also known as a masjid. If you are concerned about the next prayer, immediately after fulfilling the current one, then you are heading in the right direction. That is something amazing. That's a very high level. As soon as I finish Salat al-Dhuhr, for example, I'm concerned about Salat al-Asr and I'm already planning where am I going to read this Salat. 